Welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about a story from a movie from 2022 called Pamphir. The story takes place in a small village in western Ukraine. A man in costume calling out for a young boy. The boy, Nazar, was being called by his uncle Victor, who pretended to be the man in the costume, but it was Nazar's father, Leonid, who wanted to surprise his son. After the father and son greeted each other, the father told the boy to go find his mother, and the boy left. Leonid looked at his brother Victor and saw some marks on his body, and asked if he had been smuggling again. Their mother arrived and the men played with her, and Leonid also caught her by surprise. At night, Leonid, after taking a bath, had some time with his wife, Olina. Olina asked Leonid not to leave them again, and she told him about their son's behavior. The next morning, Leonid was pretending to look for water in the soil with his son when his wife called out to take permission from the son to take his bike, but to surprise the boy, the father had just bought a new bicycle for him and the mother and son rode away. Leonid went to work digging well for the village pasteur as a promise he made alongside his brother and his twin godsons. A few moments later, Nazar rode his bike in and helped pour water on his father's dirt-covered hand and then went to play nearby. Leonid told his son to go on any errand his mother must have sent him. Olina was seen in the church, and after rehearsal, she went to the pastor to present Leonid's papers to be processed for a new work permit. Nazar walked in, and Olina told the pasteur the boy will join the choir, but the rehearsal had already ended, so the pasteur offered to do cleanup together. As Leonid was leaving work from the well digging, riding his bicycle, Victor and the twins running alongside him, they heard and saw police lights and siren in the distance, and Leonid had to raise down to the scene. The church had just been burnt. Leonid called out for his son before going inside the church as the fireman had put out the fire. Leonid, in suspicion, asked the pasteur if it was Nazar who started the fire, and he replied with uncertainty, since they were both the last people after rehearsal, and the fireman said the radiator was left on. Leonid asked the pastor not to tell anyone about it, and he agreed. Leonid called Nazar in to ask about the fire and who started it. The boy pleaded his father not to tell his mother, and they reached an agreement and punishment, but Leonid was furious and threw the plate he was holding in anger. But the boy tried turning the agreement and punishment as he was scared. Olina will find out he did something bad if he's not riding his new bicycle anymore. And his father agreed, but gave him another condition. They both went ahead to pick Olina from work. They informed her about the fire at the church, but didn't tell her the truth except Leonid's paper that got burnt together with other things in the church. Olina was happy about the papers getting burnt, as she wanted her husband to stay around longer, and they went home together. Leonid went to his archive and picked out an old journal and went outside to have a smoke, and also to call his old contacts for help as he had promised the pasteur to pay back all the debts incurred in the fire since Nazar had been responsible. Nazar soon joined him and they read together. Nazar asked if they could sell the new bike, but Leonid insisted. The next morning, Leonid ran after his mother, Mrs. Maria, to ask for help, but the mother told him they can't afford any money as they hardly make ends meet. Leonid told her he wanted to return back to his smuggling work, but Olena mustn't find out. He also asked his mother to help him arrange a smuggling corridor for him, as she works at the border guard barracks. She agreed to help, and also told Leonid to find time to talk to his father, but he doesn't want to, but ensured his mother to talk with and take care of his brother Victor, as they will have to work together, and the mother told him he'll be notified when there's a corridor. She went inside the fence, and Leonid departed. On getting inside and after greeting some people, she made her to other part of the barrack, where she saw various smugglers being punished. Leonid went to see the pasteur, and was given some paper which contained how much he needs to pay up the debt. He couldn't work on the well and told the twins to return home as he went on to find Victor. He told Victor if he wants to smuggle again, and they talked about the plans together. Victor recommended the twins for the work, but Leonid only took the twins as his godsons and didn't want them on the job. 
he took his bike and ride away to find the person he had called. A big man showed up behind him and asked who sent him as he was waiting on the wall. They walked to the car and talked business. As they were leaving, Victor came along riding a wooden cart dragged by a donkey and rode to a waiting vehicle down the road where his contact was waiting. The contact, Rat, showed them the products to be moved but warned them about Mr. Orest, who is the owner of the territory they were going to take the good along and avoid troubles with him and everyone departed. Leonid and Victor went home and met Nazar and his friends and asked the boys to go out and leave the masks they were working on so they can have room to talk about their plans. Nazar returns a few moments later, and the three of them went out to play with their wick pistol with conditions attached to anybody that wins, and they round up the night as Leonid wins. On their way to church, Leonid, Olina, and Nazar heard some animal cries and Olina was scared. Leonid told Nazar to protect his mother, and they both started making awkward sounds to scare the animals away, and Olina joined in too. At the church, Nazar had joined the choir and was expected to sing. As they watched their son, Olina noticed the boy wasn't singing, and she complained to Leonid, but he told her about the deal father and son had made together, and in the moment, Nazar made his version of speech in the choir and continued singing with the choir. Leonid received a text on his phone. It was his mother informing him that the corridor is open all day. He rushed from the church to his meeting point with Victor and other workers. To his disappointment, Victor had only brought the twins. He got furious, but Victor was able to convince him to allow the twins on the job as there are no one else to call for help. He agreed, and they packed up their loads and started their journey through the jungles. They heard shouts and whistles coming from their path, and they quickly hid till the patrol and the smugglers they caught were gone. They continued their journey, but unbeknownst to them, someone else among the border guard was watching them up the hill. It was Vassal. One of the patrols, a loyal staff and son-in-law to Mr. Arrest. Vassal was instructed on the radio to inform Arrest about what he just saw. Leonid and his group reached their destination on the Romanian border, dropped their loads, and returned back. In the car, Vassil informs Oresti about the event, that it was Pamphir that lead the smuggling they witnessed. Mr. Oresta doesn't know who Pamphir was, but Vasil told Oresti and his grandchildren how Leonid got to be called Pamphir. Oresti had arrived in the village at the time Leonid was abroad. Oresti made a decision to punish Pamphir. As Leonid Pamphir was riding on the road, Vassil ran his car towards him and knocked his bike off the road, getting dirt all over Pamphir. People started to gather from all around them. It was Vassil's men. He told Pamphir someone wanted to talk to him, and they took him at the back of the truck and drove away to a secret lair and started beating him up. Mr. Oresta entered and threatened to bury Leonid alive if he was ever caught smuggling in his territory again, and everyone left Leonid cover in blood. In a next scene where Bobul, a corrupt cop and loyalist of Mr. Arrest, took Rat and the twins to another secret place to threaten them. Vassal came in time, same twins, by saying he was sent by Mr. Arrest. He gave the twins Pam Fear journal and asked them to get it across to him. Leonid snuck home and cleaned himself up. At Victor's place, he had a lady with him, and suddenly there was a knock on the door. Victor opened the back door and the lady was gone. Victor opened the door. It was the cop, Bobul. The cop came to search Victor's place for contrabands, but found his daughter's jacket instead. Furious and full of anger, he decided to set a trap for Victor. He told Victor to wear his mask and do the dance and record with the aim he will walk over the trap. Victor walked into the trap and got his legs stuck and groaned in pain as he called for his mother. Leonid tried to sneak onto the bed after spending some time watching Oresti on the TV, but Olena and Nazar weren't really asleep. Olena left the room in anger as she doesn't like Leonid returning home late. The next morning, Olena ran to the house to wake Leonid up as their cow is about to give birth. Leonid stood up and was about to get dressed when Olena saw the marks and bruises on him but he lied that it was because Nazar's bike was stolen. At the farm, Olina asked if Leonid had been smuggling again, and he told her the truth that they needed money, 
but didn't talk about the church incident. Olena was scared and asked him if they could go abroad together, but Leonid disagreed as he had promised their son he would be staying for the winter. Nazar rushed in to inform him about the pastor's calls, and he went to check it out. He went to the police station to meet the pastor, and the pastor told him about the debt, that it needs to be paid to Mr. Oresta as the church land was borrowed from him. Leonid met Oreste and Vassal, and they both offered him a job to smuggle a package for them into the border of Romania. Leonid declined, but Oresti threatened to take his wife and son to the place they had beaten him. Having no choice, Leonid agreed and went home. At the house, he looked for his son in the attic and told him to pack his loads as they're about to move abroad together. The boy sat him down and told him about how he had heard what needed to be done from the pastor. Leonid and Nazar went to the bus station together. At the bus station, Leonid asked Nazar to go find his mother so they could leave together but then, Vassal showed up with some boys again and told Leonid how everyone had known about his plan to move, and so he had to return home. Nazar and Olena came out, and they went home together as Leonid's father was watching through the window. Leonid and Nazar dressed in their festival costume and walked around among other festival people. Leonid asked the cop to challenge Mr. Oresti to a fight, and he agreed. In the jungle, Leonid and Nazar, in their costume alongside Rat, headed for the border to deliver the package as instructed by Orest. Leonid's father went in search of Olena, so they could both watch their sons together. Leonid's mother went to ask the border guard for help, and that Victor was the one in need of help. The lady took the map, and Leonid's mother showed them where to go, and they headed out to the tunnel immediately. Before the guard's arrival, Leonid had already sent Nazar into the tunnel. He came out to stretch and look around when a dog ran up on him and got bitten. He stabbed the dog and told Nazar not to come out. The border guards shot at Pamphir and he started bleeding. He struggled back into the tunnel and started talking to Nazar while in pain. Due to his absence from the festival, Mr. Oreste had already started to jubilate. Leonid's mother, father and wife were present at the festival looking for two boys. The border guards came back to inform Leonid's mother there had been an accident at the border and left. A cop came around to the crowd and asked Rat and Leonid's family to come over to identify the bodies as there had been shootings at the border with the victims wearing festival costumes. Leonid was bleeding out and shouting in pain but kept on telling his son to run towards Romania and surrender to the Romanian guards as that is the only way he can be saved. Pamphir bled out and Nazar made it to Romanian side of the border and surrendered, raising his hands up. 